2020 political campaigns are waxing warm as candidates reach out to members of their respective constituencies, whom they hope to lead after the August 10 general election. While walking about on Thursday, PNM candidate for Lopino Bon Air, Marvin Gonzalez, says he hopes to bring his experience and success from the public service into politics. Given my experience in the public service and what I have been able to achieve, what I've been able to achieve um, in short time span, even when people have been very pessimistic with respect to some of the, the changes I have been able to achieve in the public service and in the Ministry of Works and Transport over the last five to ten years. I believe that given that experience, I can bring that to bear at the level of the government to, to bring overall transformation towards Trinidad and Tobago said he is committed to getting the constituency a regular water supply as well as other community services. What I intend to do as the next member of parliament for Lupino Bonia West is to create an, a harmonious relationship and a close working relationship with all my councillors so that we will ensure that we continue to be on the same page to address some of those local government issues affecting the, um, the constituency. I believe with my input and my leadership, working closely with the councillors, I am pretty confident that we'll be able to address most of the, um, the issues being highlighted by citizens. And in more electionary news, political leader Kamala Pasad Basesa has vowed to assist those in need if heavy rainfall leads to flooding. Speaking at the UNC's virtual campaign meeting on Thursday night, Mrs. Pasad Basesa said her party has always taken a proactive role in times of disaster and vowed to assist those in need, citing the approach of Tropical Storm Gonzalo to TNT. We have put all the UNC corporations um, on high alert to be ready, to be ready, to be ready in the event that there should be damage, there should be flooding, and the need for services. You would have seen every time there's been flooding or any disaster in this country, it has been the UNC corporations, the UNC soldiers, they have been on the ground. Mrs. Pasad Basesa also noted that if elected, the UNC would implement projects aimed at reducing flooding in strategic areas using floodgates, pumps, and other devices. Should there be the damage, should there be the need to help our citizens, we'll be first out on the ground should anything happen. The UNC will be there with you, we've always been there with you, and will continue to be there with you. So, flood prevention.